Drugs called antiretroviral medications can reduce the amount of HIV in your body. One class of antiretroviral medication called entry or fusion inhibitors disrupts the HIV infection process by preventing the virus from attaching to your cells. Other classes of antiretroviral medications include reverse transcriptase inhibitors, protease inhibitors, and integrase inhibitors. These drugs prevent the creation, assembly, and spread of new viruses. Your doctor may prescribe a combination of these drug classes known as highly active antiretroviral therapy, or HART. Antiretroviral medication doesn't completely remove HIV from your body, but slows it down enough to enable your immune system to fight infections. In one type of dialysis, called hemodialysis, your doctor will use a machine called a dialyzer to clean your blood outside your body. Some weeks or months before you begin hemodialysis, your doctor will prepare a vascular access site on your body. Your doctor will create either an arteriovenous graft or an arteriovenous fistula to access your bloodstream. To begin, he or she will numb the area with local anesthesia. To construct an arteriovenous graft, your surgeon will make a small incision in your forearm and insert a soft plastic tube called a graft to connect an artery to a vein. To create an arteriovenous fistula, your surgeon will make a small incision in your skin and connect an artery with a vein to make a larger vessel called a fistula. Once your vascular access site has healed, your doctor can start hemodialysis. To begin, your dialysis nurse will insert two needles into your AV fistula or graft. Once the circuit is set up, your blood will flow slowly out of your body and through the dialyzer. Inside the dialyzer, your blood will encounter filtering fibers and an absorbent cleaning solution called dialysate. The fibers will remove waste and excess fluids and electrolytes from your blood. Your cleaned blood will emerge from the dialyzer and continue through the tubing back into your body through the second needle at your access site. When your hemodialysis session is complete, bone marrow transplant always brings up the image of someone going into an operating room and having the bone marrow put in. But it's, it is not that. It's actually much more like a blood transfusion. Dr. Dennis Gastonow says bone marrow is the spongy tissue inside some bones. Its job is to produce blood cells. To prepare for the transplants, patients have chemotherapy to kill the leukemia and malfunctioning marrow. Then, transplanted blood stem cells are put into the bloodstream. Ideally, the transplanted cells begin producing new healthy cells. A big scientific breakthrough. Two American men have been taken off their HIV medication after a bone marrow transplant for cancer appears to have cleared their bodies of the virus. 
The two men, who have chosen not to be identified, were given high doses of chemotherapy and radiation, which essentially destroyed their bone marrow, and doctors replaced it with a tissue-matched transplant from a donor. They have reportedly remained free of the virus for almost four months in one case and two in another. Bone marrow is the soft, spongy area in the middle of some of the larger bones of the body. It produces the cells that make up the blood, such as the red cells and the white cells. By replacing bone marrow, one can replace sick blood cells with health ones. By continuing antiretroviral therapy during the time of the transplant, we could protect these otherwise susceptible cells from becoming HIV infected. But it was another man's case that inspired researchers to look at these two patients closely. Timothy Brown, also known as the Berlin patient, had a bone marrow transplant in a German hospital more than five years ago and has since cleared his body completely of the infection. Now, it should be noted researchers haven't cleared this method as an absolute cure yet, but said it was an encouraging sign that the virus hasn't come back in the patient's blood months after drug treatment ended. So Two patients believed to have been cured of the AIDS virus after bone marrow transplants have now seen the virus return. The Boston doctor who treated the patients called the return of the virus, quote, disappointing, unquote. He also called it scientifically significant.